Right. If you recall, yesterday we got 381 tracks by 300 odd strangers who were basically given a key, a chord sequence, and a BPM or tempo. Start at bar 5, finish at bar 88. What could possibly go wrong? Well, it sounded a little bit like this. But then I started organising the instruments by kind of type of not only sound, instrument, but also by the performance type. So if it was really systemsy and repetitive, I've suffixed it CP for counterpoint. And if it's slightly more uh, soloistic, more freewheeling, then I've classified it as episodic. What I'm gonna have to do is go in and make episodes of people's kind of moments. So the counterpoint is gonna be like rolling Cotswold hills, and the episodics are gonna be whopping great electricity pylons that we place across that beautiful landscape. We listened to the pianos, and it was uh, interesting, if you listened to it yesterday, you would have heard those maybe little guitar in there. And that's what's great about just breaking something of this scale down into smaller lumps, it becomes very easy to isolate stuff. So this is now the pianos without any extraneous uh, guitars. Absolutely stunning. And I'll take you through all of these different stacks to show you what they sound like. I'm gonna start with the crazy stacks first. Uh, so let's go for the esoteric uh, episodic. Uh, we've got our untuned percussion. So just there's a whole bunch of moments there which are going to be great fun to actually arrange into the track in a slightly less uh, appearingly aleatoric manner. Okay, we've got people who put like full tracks in and I'm having a little think about what to do with these. I mean, it is absolutely insane. It sounds like some mad kind of pull stretch, but at tempo. Percussion tuned track. It's one of the smaller ones. Kyle Hartman's wine glass gamelan being a real feature there. Uh, we've got some amazing Vox channels stacks. Uh, these are mainly VIs. And then we've got Synths Episodic, which again is another crazy one, I think. <laughs> Sounds like the modular village at Nam, but with everyone's modules quantized to, to D Dorian. Guitars Episodic. Piano's episodic. There was some really kind of interesting improvisational stuff. We had some virtual orchestra stuff, which I think towards here has kind of got some really some really amazing theme stuff going on. And then basses, talk about mud flaps. That would be one of the ones that I'd program sooner rather than later and probably keep in as I'm programming the other stacks uh, because a lot of the stacks have a lot of rich bottom end and I want that to be defined. So if we get the you know fixed bass track first and then build stuff around it, I think that'll be a good foundation uh, to build from. Let's go back to the top. So we've got our esoteric um, counterpoint, which again, uh, is, a, is a kind of landscape of very interesting stuff. And I think around here, it sounds amazing. <laughs> Do 
Just absolutely wonderful. Guitars. I think out of all of the group of musicians, the guitarists really got the, the, the systems vibe. Right, I mean, a, an amazing example is I've just kind of randomly just started selecting uh, various players. And here's one, two, three, four, five, six total strangers, some of them double tracked as well. So it's probably about, I don't know, probably like at least a dozen players, uh, half of them strangers. It reminds me of uh, the, the park I go walking in, uh, Holyrood Park. It's like every time you delve in there, there's a, a, just a new hid, hidden kind of part, a little kind of tree or a little lock somewhere. This stack just, it, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like the different characteristics of the different, um, I don't know, instrument groups, you know, it really comes to the fore. So this is like really tight and quantized. And it's a good example of, of a slightly confused bottom end, as you'd expect. You wait till you hear the synth uh, ambient track, though. Vox, this is just incredible, people's amazing vocal contributions. <laughs> Insane. We've got an amazing untuned percussion stack. That there's a massive fat groove in there waiting to get out. Again, each stack I'm going to approach differently. I'm going to go into this one. I'm going to find some really good bars and just tighten them up so they all lock. And then probably I'm going to side chain the ambient um, uh, pads and synths, uh, which I haven't heard yet, but wait, uh, uh, to that rhythm track. <laughs> So I'd say bar 57 is a strong one. Just going to listen to the whole of that, pick out the, the tight bars. And this is tuned percussion, the counterpoint. Absolutely stunning. And then I think this is possibly my most moving stack. This is all of the soloists playing orchestral instruments and it just has this glorious kind of penguin cafe orchestra on steroid sound. I think there's a screaming sax around here. No matter what, the sax will always come to the fore. There's a bass guitar in there. I don't know if it's part of a, a larger uh, track, but it's a very tight, good sounding bass. So I might put that into a different stack. And finally, let's have a listen to synths ambient. A good kind of dozen or so of these. Oh, bathe in the synthy glory. And finally, got a lovely uh, guitars ambient stack. So 
So that's what 300 plus strangers playing together sounds like. So I'm going to first structure the piece and then slowly start arranging the mother of all rinse outs at the end in preparation for sending stuff to Jake Jackson later to start mixing. And he is currently mixing something that I can't show you yet, but it's uh, very exciting indeed. Lost a little bit of water out of my eyes. Uh, this is this is going places, and I'm about to do something that is incredibly tedious, but it's going to look way cool on time lapse. So these are the full tracks. I remember kind of struggling around with what I was going to do with tracks that had like bass and drums and all that kind of stuff, and I'm just going to make it go absolutely mental. So what I'm effectively doing is I'm singling out what I'm not going to delete here. Gradually going to build up to proper rinseness. It takes me back to the good old days of working with an Atari 1040 ST and just not, not really knowing what I was doing, just making it up as I went along. And I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing now. But I'm thinking the effect will be like a massive, like imagine like a 32 channel DJ switcher between different tracks and then gradually all these tracks are going to cascade in in the most bizarre layering fashion and then we've got the a proper rinse there I might be tempted to whack a kind of flanger on the entire hello mate hello mate what time is it <laughs> it's beer beer time Cheers, everyone. Cheers, Rach. <laughs> I finished my first day of kind of arranging and producing all of this stuff. What makes it sound enormous is having light and shade. So I've organised it into a series of vignettes. I would describe it as all of the motors I've now arranged. Yep. Basically, everything marked in purple has been sent to Jake. The sum I've track laid, like, detailed, like particularly the, the initial piano motors. Yes. And then you see I've got second piano mo motors. Uh, which is just a stereo wav. Oh yes. I just that that's for the rinse. I just don't, I think that there's something quite extraordinary when it really rinses at the end. Yes. It it almost sounds like one of those like multi multi tracked Metallica guitar things. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, I think yeah. it's okay to just go mental. At oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just I, I assumed that's what that what was. But I've spent a long time uh, working with the untuned percussion, i.e., the drum kit. Yes. I'm happy with the sound of it. Obviously, happy for you to smash it and stuff. But it's made up of one, two. It's made up of nearly twenty stereo things. So I don't see why you'd have to take that to bits because it's just working like a you loop like anyway. You like it? Send it to me. It's fine. I'm happy with that. Yeah. So that's just as a wav. Okay. So I make it that there's basically two stacks for you still. Still two more to come, are there? Yeah. Um, one is tuned percussion, and the other is it's called this orchestra live, but it's actually people playing orchestral instruments. Oh, it's wow, the cool. most nammy of bits that you've probably heard when I sent you that stereo. I just need to give each person their moment. Fair enough. Really on that. And then basically I've still got a fuck ton of stuff to work through for day two for me, but I think these are going to arrive to you in maybe a half dozen stereos. Okay, cool. Just highly produced moments. It's, it'll be things like risers getting us in. I'm going to try and pick out the odd lead line here and there. When you hear the real sucks, you know, whatever reverbs you have on those things, when it sucks, foom, yeah, out DJ down. style. Yeah. With exception to, basically, I didn't really know what to do with these, um, the, the MIDI orchestras to do it. So basically what I've done is I've just bounced them as a, as a wav. Yeah. And I've created like Olafur style waves with them. Right. So you'll see from a bar, about bar 69, there'll be Orc, Orc, Orc MIDI and uh, Vox MIDI as well. Yeah. And those are designed to have a reverb like it's a real band creating the waves. But what I'm just falling in love with is people's effort. I mean, there's just so much oh, it's just incredible. wonderful stuff. And there's didgeridoo that I've enjoyed listening to. and um, who, loves, who doesn't love a didgeridoo? Who doesn't love a didgeridoo? If you don't like a didgeridoo, then... Don't. I've given you a shed ton of pianos. Yes, there's a lot but, of pianos. But the idea was just to just to kind of carve it a little space. Lots of panning, I imagine. Be yeah, like I've started really... to do a bit of panning. I've, 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 yeah. There's, um, let's have a look. See if I can show you what I've done so far. Looking on this, right. Um, but you can see I've done some uh, panning here. That you can see there's some panning going on here. There's, right. I've, put, I've, I've put some down on the left, some on the right. I've got a, like a delay on the left and a delay on the right specifically to 
throw things around. I'm, there's one lovely thing that I've made move around. I've got to find it now. Just it's going to do my head in. Where are you? There it is. That one there. This one. This 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 thing. The brow motion. Have you seen this before? It does. Well, it does. It's don't come doing two at once. It's really rather nice. I'm going to text you a picture of my screen. So basically, I, the one thing I really, was really stuck with yes. was when people um, made me uh, like full, like really thick tracks with bass drums and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to show you what, what I did with them. This will make you laugh. Oh, come on, just send. Wow. So what have you done there? So those are all the full mixes. And I just chop chop them up, and then and, and then gradually they all like more and more come in over the top. <laughs> <laughs> that, and that's just a stereo file for you, so it won't look. Oh, like okay, that for okay, you. goodness for that. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, if if there's anything that I would say that I quite like about the reference track that I sent is I I quite like the position of the drums. In terms, of they're quite they're quite front, aren't they? They're quite full, but they don't totally overtake. I think what's really useful about them in the rinse section at the end is they provide a real focal point gotcha. um, in, because otherwise it is just, it's Nam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine, um, man. No, fine, that sounds good. Right, so join Jake and myself tomorrow uh, where I'll play you through just a few bits and bobs that I've been working on today, but I don't want to give the game away. So it'd be churlish not to subscribe. What do they need to ring, um, Jake? A ring a ding-a-ling, ding-a-ling, ding bell. Yes, absolutely. And one of those... For yourselves. See you tomorrow. Actually, one of a brilliant, it's a brilliant job. It's sounding amazing. Nice one, mate.